on Sundays, everything is on your hands. If you are scared, better to stay home. It's always a special moment when you see all your mechanics with you and step by step members is going out and then you are alone with your bike. There is no moments when I'm on a fight to be happy about soccer. If I will have the possibility to win, I go for it. When I signed the first MotoGP contract with factory Yamaha, I cry. These 15 years has been tough, great memories, bad moments. I don't remember every single moment when I was a child, but my dad just told me that every time I go down on the bike, the day after I asked him to go again. At that age, I was just having a lot of good times with my family. And uh, even if it was a passion, my dad had no rest. Same for my mom, they sacrificed a lot for me. My dad was doing mechanic, I was playing with my friend with the bicycle, football. He just screamed to call me, come on, let's go. That stage was pure enjoyment. Just put the helmet and have fun. From this moment, my dad, he knows that I was quite good and every time we move off category and we follow the championships, that was better for me. From 14 to 16, I sacrificed everything for my training. Nobody wins the Spanish championship the first year in Moto3. I did and nobody won it twice and I won it twice. We felt that the move was going to be serious, you know? Now you are on the highest level, you feel all the media, pressure, stress. When I make the step to MotoGP, just a few people believe in me. I have a question for Fabio. Were you worried that you might not make it to the top? Question for Fabio. Did you feel anxious? 95% of the people say he will go back to Moto2. What happens if you don't win any race? He's not a hard worker. I think the biggest thing was 2019 in Jerez, a younger rider to pole position. That moment, it gave me a big boost of energy. I was there to fight for the podium, even for the victory. And uh, I broke the lever to change the gears. Quattararo's got a mechanical. What has happened to Fabio Quattararo? What a nightmare! It was the worst moment of my career. You talk about the highs and lows of Grand Prix motorcycle racing. But everybody see that the potential was there. Quattararo's going for it at turn number four. He's got the inside line. Quattararo finishes in second. He goes across the line and he takes pole. Tomorrow morning we will try to make something more and we're ready to fight. And Fabio Quattararo takes the leap. Fabio Quattararo wins his first ever Grand Prix. Frankly, if we waited too long, we would have lost some of our young talent. Everybody know I signed uh, really important documents for my future with uh, Factory Yamaha. The sun is set, the stage is set, and we're set for MotoGP in 2021. For sure, it will be a special moment for me to see myself on the Factory Yamaha team with my number, my colors, it's just amazing, it's a dream come true. I worked hard for this, and I'm working even harder to stay at this place. When I will be on the grid, my only way of thinking will be to remember all the tests that we did, the positive attitude, and go for it. The lights will go on, and when they go out, the Doha Grand Prix is underway. Every year is the same. You feel like, whoa. I came from 50cc and now I'm racing in MotoGP. My dad, he told me a lot of time, the goal is to break the latest as possible and open the throttle the earliest as possible.
that stay in my mind always. When Fick is going fine, honestly, I feel like a kid huh? when I'm on the bike. I'm just having a lot of fun. No questions about it. A stunner from Fabio Quattararo to win. There were a lot of questions asked about whether or not he was the real deal. It's clear that on my mind is the championship that I won. I don't want the podium, I want the victory. I'm here to win.